I'm Dr. Brian Zellickson. I'm a board certified dermatologist and I'm the founder and medical director of Zell Skin and Laser Specialists. Lasers are basically devices that produce one wavelength of light. There was a theory of selective photothermolysis that was developed in the early 80s by Dr. Rox Anderson and John Parrish out of Harvard. And what they discovered is if you use a laser to target a specific um, target, we can basically just destroy that target without injuring any of the tissue around it. One of the first things they started looking at was a blood vessel. And the blood vessel has red blood cells in it. Remembering their color wheel from grade school, they know that the complementary color to red is green. So green light gets absorbed by the color red. So they developed basically a green light laser that they could shine in the skin, and it would only be absorbed by the red color and the hemoglobin. When the light got absorbed by the red color, it heats up that the red blood cell, which in turn will heat up the blood vessel and injure it. Now the problem in the past is some of these lasers would keep heating it up and it would generate more heat to damage the surrounding tissue. So what they devise, they say, well, what if we heat it up, we pulse the laser, put enough light in there to heat up the area just enough to heat up the vessel, but not any further. And so they pulse these lasers so they could give a pulse of green light that would get absorbed by the red blood cell which would heat up enough to injure the vessel that it's in, and that injury, your body would basically resorb it and get rid of it. So now we have lasers that target blood vessels that are just visible, kind of red, you know, colored or uh, yellow colored lasers to target that. There's lasers we can tune and that gets absorbed by melanin to kind of destroy those. We have lasers that target tattoos. And then another big target in the skin is water. And these lasers we use to help either sand down or resurface the skin or create little holes in the skin to help set up a wound that the body then heals up and improves the tone and texture of the skin. One thing at Zell is we have multiple different lasers. So we basically, you can buy lasers that are light sources like IPLs that are sort of a jack of all trades, master of none. I mean, they do a pretty good job for everything, but not great. Since we've been in the business so long, and you know, we've acquired a number of lasers that are very specific for certain tasks. So we can choose the ones that we need to really focus on the concern that people have. And then we own our own lasers. It's kind of like a musical instrument. <laughs> you, know, you need to know how to use it well. And I think as dermatologists, you know, we deal with skin and skin conditions all the time. We kind of know what we're treating when we see a spot that may be cancerous or something that, you know, we shouldn't treat. We understand that. And oftentimes you can go out and take a weekend course uh, buy a laser and say you're a laser surgeon even though you have minimal experience with it. So I think it's um, important for the patient or the customer to kind of know what the background, how much the physician has used the laser, what their experience is. You know, at Zell, you know, luckily we, I kind of grew up when they were all sort of starting, so I got a lot of experience, you know, in learning, just playing with the new technology. Um, and then the providers and the physicians that uh, perform the procedures here, we have a certain training technique and, and uh, teaching course and criteria of, of their education so they get a good bit of knowledge and practical knowledge on how to use these devices.